Hi, my name is Chelsea Nealon. Today I'm going to be discussing a potential mining operation that has been proposed near the Okefenokee Wildlife Refuge just in the last few years. Um, along with the potential impacts that this mining operation could have on this extremely unique and beautiful wetland ecosystem. I chose this topic having grown up on the outskirts of the Okefenokee and I also worked as a park ranger and served on a research project studying the American alligator there for a few years. It's an extremely incredible place and a large chunk of my heart lies there and that is why I found this topic to be of considerable interest to me. And if you've never visited the Okefenokee, you definitely need to. So for those of you that don't know, um, much about the Okefenokee or where it is. The Okefenokee, it's the largest swamp in North America. It covers roughly 700 square miles um, and it's located here in southeastern Georgia and in northern Florida. Uh, within its varied habitats, the Okefenokee has become an area known for its abundance of plants and animals. There are over 620 uh, species of plants growing in the swamp. Some of them are extremely unique, um, including carnivorous plants um, and the goldenrod. Uh, animals include over 400 species of invertebrates, over 200 variety of birds, over 60 kinds of reptiles, and 50 mammal species. So there's a lot of unique. Um, animals that exist within this ecosystem. Especially in the springtime, um, in March, around March, when every, um, all the birds are migrating south, you can witness a bunch of really, really um, unique and beautiful birds like the sandhill crane. So what are the benefits of a swamp ecosystem? The Okefenokee, it's among the most beneficial and important wetland habitats on Earth. Um, it acts essentially as a sponge for heavy rains and flood, well, just all swamp systems in general, act of, as, acts as uh, sponges for heavy rains and flooding. And in that, they prevent erosion, enhance habitat, uh, water supply, um, because wetland plants, they're important because they can absorb much of the energy of the surface waters and they bind soil and deposited sediments in their dense root systems. Um, so they're pretty critical to these types of habitats. Um, also recreation and education are other benefits of a swamp ecosystem. Um, it provides a certainly amazing platform uh, for education. So um, just to get into the mining, uh, to begin with, the Clean Water Act Navigable Waters Protection Rule. So under federal law, this act provides or prohibits discharges of pollutants from point sources to quote unquote navigable waters. And these are just a few examples of navigable waters throughout the U.S. So in October of 2020, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers announced that under the Trump administration's guidance of the Clean Water Act's Navigable Waters Protection Rule, the 400 plus acres of wetlands um, located in the Twin Pines area, which is right here, um, southeast of the Okefenokee, um, basically they determined that, that because of this act, that it no longer fell under federal regulations to be protected and was therefore now susceptible to hosting a mining operation. So this proposed mining project would mine for heavy minerals such as uh, just titanium and zirconium. And this would be at a depth of 50 feet below the ground surface, which is below the level of the Okefenokee Swamp Depression and integral to maintaining surface water and groundwater hydrology in this region of southeast Georgia. So obviously the um, concern with this is 
the proximity of the mine to the Okefenokee. Um, mining would potentially impact these wetlands and could permanently, permanently impact the hydrology of the entire Okefenokee swamp. Additionally, um, the Okefenokee is home to the headwaters of two notable rivers, which make their way into Florida's east and gulf coastal systems. So we have the Suwannee, which uh, spills into the gulf, and the St. Mary's, which, uh, actually I wrote that down wrong, it, it spills out of uh, Georgia. Either way, um, so this mining operation, therefore, would not only be impacting the waters and ecosystem of the Okefenokee, but also that of these two rivers. So the hyd hyd <laughs> hydrologic impacts of this um, is, like I said, could uh, potentially impact the water level of the Okefenokee from the mining operations and soil homogenization. And portions of the proposed mine site would drain water into the Okefenokee swamp. So therefore, there would be changes in groundwater flow from mining operation from these mining operations, which would lower the area water table, and changes in fire frequency and intensity due to hydrological changes could result from lower groundwater levels. So the importance of fire in swamp ecosystems. Um, so these ecosystems contain vegetation. Um, that occasionally and needingly um, is burned in fires. Um, so if you have, if it contains vegetation um, growth to prevent larger fires, a uh, fire ecosystem basically restocks wetland, I call it restocking, uh, wetland systems by opening soil deposits to aid in new growth to provide resources for biota. So some of the habitat impacts that this could have on this ecosystem is uh, habitat reduction and fragmentation. Obviously you're displacing habitat by the creation of this mine um, and all the reper repercussions that could potentially come from that. Uh, loss of habitat for notable species, such as, for example, the gopher tortoise um, is an endangered species in this system, and it's a keystone species, so additionally, many other species actually rely on the gopher tortoise, so that's just one example. Um, additionally, uh, noise and light pollution and other impacts for wildlife and visitors to Okefenokee National Wildlife Refuge. So what has been done uh, so far uh, since the proposal of this mine? June of this year, 2022, the Army Corps of Engineers began blocking the decision for mining operations to occur, and this was largely due to the conservation community, such as environmental groups and political leaders, opposing these operations. Um, additionally, Senator John Ossoff of Florida set to block the proposed mining operations, focusing on the threats to the Okefenokee ecosystem. And as of today, goals to ultimately halt the execution of these mining operations near the Okefenokee swamp are still undergoing. <clears throat> in conclusion, the Okefenokee swamp is the largest swamp in North America. Its beauty, cultural, and ecological value are absolutely something to be preserved. And the threat of a proposed mine, mineral mine near the edge of the Okefenokee looms large, putting the natural integrity of the swamp at risk.